Hey you guys, what is up? It is Berlin. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you doing this fine Saturday? Hope you're all having a great day or night, whatever it is where you are so far. Girl, we've got some tea to get into. We've got a lot of tea to get into because James Charles has finally come out with another statement. And Morphe Brushes have finally issued a statement on this whole James Charles sexting scandal that's been going on recently. So we're going to get straight into that and I'm going to start painting my face. Let's go. So I'm sure you are all aware of the situation that's been going on with James Charles. How could you not be right now? You know, it's what a lot of people on the internet are talking about. I know some other drama channels covered this last night. Some American drama channels. But of course, I was kind of... 2 o'clock in the morning here and my family were asleep so I couldn't sit down to record anything or film anything. So now we're going to get right into this James Charles statement and Morphe Brushes statement because girl, if you ask me, the whole situation is a goddamn mess. Firstly, we had James Charles coming out in his own kind of apology video, taking accountability after he'd been caught out allegedly sexting minors, which he then sat down and admitted to in the Taking Accountability video. He admitted to two counts of speaking to minors, alleging that he didn't know that they were minors, but it turned out they were minors, which of course is breaking federal law. So James Charles broke federal law in those instances. James is now claiming that everybody else is lying on the situation and that he's going to be taking legal action. So I'm going to read you out the statement that he popped up on Twitter last night and Morphe Brush's statement. James wrote, accountability is something that I've spoken about a number of times in the past. In my most recent video, I spoke about and took accountability for my part in conversations I had with a few individuals who told me they were over the age of 18. As I said in that video, I can't show change overnight, but will over time. Since posting that video, many other people have come forward with a series of misleading stories and false allegations, which have been reported by many people, creators and news outlets. My legal team has begun taking against action. those that have spread misinformation and or created completely fake stories as this has gone too far. These stories have caused many of my long-term partners to receive considerable negative feedback, one of them being Morphe. I loved every moment working together and I am beyond grateful for what we've created together. That being said, I reached out to them and we mutually agreed to wind down our James Charles X Morphe collaboration, which is my only project with them. I'm continuing to take my time away to learn, grow and listen and look forward to coming back one day in the future as a better version of myself, James. So a lot of the feedback that I'm seeing so far regarding that James Charles statement is a lot of people seem to think that James Charles is again victim blaming, blaming, you know, the kids for talking to him rather than the other way around, thinking that he shouldn't have been on Instagram in the first place trying to talk to youngsters or trying to talk to boys. It comes across very angry, like that statement was written out of anger, in my opinion. You know, it to me seems very much like he's just angry that Morphe have got negative feedback and Morphe have now dropped him. In my opinion, that is the main kind of takeaway from James's little statement there. That was what I got from it. I don't know about you, but just reading it, I was like, girl, you're really trying to blame everybody else for a mistake that you made. James Charles is really out here trying to blame one, the minors that he spoke to, the kids, two, trying to blame consumers for, you know, giving Morphe all the negative backlash because they said they don't want to buy from Morphe anymore because they don't want to buy from a company that supports this kind of behavior. You know, they don't want to support a company who is supporting a big influencer who breaks the law like that and also puts teenagers in danger makes sense right so james claims that he only spoke to two people of course there have been a lot more boys that have come forward now i can't personally say how much truth there is in every single allegation we had one that was a false allegation turned out to be a false allegation but other than that i haven't seen any other kind of evidence that the other allegations that have come out might be false you know again i can't say whether they're all false or not you know who knows at this point but i do think it's important to note that james did break the law and yet he's here trying to shift blame once again for something that he did 
Following on from that, Morphe Brushes posted a statement saying, in light of the recent allegations against James Charles, Morphe and James have agreed to end our business relationship and wind down sales of the Morphe X James Charles products offering. It is and has always been Morphe's goal to create a positive, safe and empowering space where all beauty lovers can freely share their artistry and passion for cosmetics. And Morphe is committed to furthering that goal. So when you look at James' statement, side by side with Morphe Brush's statement, it's all this, oh, we mutually came to an agreement. Notice that? Do you guys remember when they dropped Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star, when Morphe dropped them? There was no, oh, you know, we came to a mutual agreement about it. There was none of that. It was all very much, we're letting Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star go. You know, we're kicking them out in not so many words. But this time around with James Charles, they're treating it like it was some kind of mutual agreement. James is trying to kind of make it seem like he went to Morphe and they had a civilised discussion. They sat down. They decided what they would do about the situation together. I mean, I don't know. That might be the case. But also, let's not forget that James Charles has been massively, massively dropping hints about a makeup line that he is coming out with his own James Charles makeup line so we've seen receipts of that that there is going to be a makeup line coming out from James Charles but of course I initially thought that Morphe was somehow invested in James Charles makeup line because Morphe are owned by a group called Former Brands who own a lot of other kind of beauty and hair care brands they invest in those brands to help them grow right so I initially thought that Morphe, like they do with Jacqueline Cosmetics, had a stake in James Charles Cosmetics line. Now, I don't know if that's the case or not, but it's interesting. To me personally, the fact that Morphe took this long to say anything or comment on the whole situation at all does kind of suggest that they were very reluctant to let James Charles go. They were very reluctant to, you know, break the business relationship with him. So to me, that would suggest that they have something to do with his cosmetics line, his upcoming line. I'd be like, mm, you know, I don't know. I don't know what any of you guys think about that situation. Let me know. But also, some notable people online did come out and share their thoughts about the whole James Charles statement and... Morphe Brush's statement, one of them being Ethan Klein. Ethan Klein quote tweeted James Charles' statement and simply said, Jail. Underneath that, Ethan added another tweet saying, Last I counted, there were 17 total accusations, 10 of which are minors, two James confessed to, tell me which ones are lying. Comedian Chris Clemens also quote tweeted Morphe Brush's post saying, Good, your move, YouTube. So at this point that he is really still on James Charles, his feet are really being held to the fire. You know, rightly so, if he did commit a crime, like he confessed to in his own damn YouTube video, then, you know, yeah, his feet should be held to the fire. But also, you know, I do believe he does need experience. He does need to grow up. Maybe because, yes, he was in the spotlight from a young age. Maybe that did have an effect on how he grew up. I don't know. I'm not going to make any excuses for James Charles because sitting on camera and saying, oh, I was desperate, I was looking for love, is no excuse for breaking the law at the end of the day. You know, facts are facts. That is it. It also really doesn't sit well with me how James is trying to make it seem like everyone's lying about him and coming after him when he actually did something wrong you know it's like dude just own your shit at this point just own your shit yeah okay you said that you spoke to two guys but we've had so many people come forward at this point that it's like james you know we've had this in 2019 as well with tatty westbrook and the whole bi sister situation so it seems very apparent that james has had this problem for quite some time yet it's gone unchecked it's gone unaddressed apart from when tatty westbrook actually sat down made her bi sisters video and we had that whole drama getting to situation you know but at the time james you know got really really cancelled and then people changed forgave james but yet here we are again you know in 2021 here we are again talking about the same damn thing james charles being inappropriate with other guys it's just madness you know clearly it's like he must have some kind of 
problem you know some kind of fetish for straight guys of course and also wanting to kind of misuse his power to me that's kind of a narcissistic quality i don't know i don't know what you guys think but i just think it's worrying and i'm glad that morphe have at last you know said oh we're going to be winding down with james charles but winding down with james charles at the end of the day his stuff is still up on that website you can still go purchase it so winding down so what are we talking here six months three months what so guys, I'm going to stop this little video right here. I'm going to leave you with this. But please do let me know all your thoughts and opinions on the whole James Charles Morphe Brushes situation. And I will see you guys soon on the next one. So I'm going to say take care, stay safe, stay well. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.